there's cops outside your house asking us if we know who you were. We were like, no, we were just here to see his fucking brother and shit. They're outside and now? This, and we dipped down. They're outside now? There's, there's like four cops. Yes, four cops now. We left. Go, 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 go. Oh, no, no, hey, 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 stay right there, hey. His name's Calvin McGinley, the seventh. Please! Yo! Oh my god! Get the action! Oh! Let me see. Let me see. How bad, how, how bad is it? I just found it in school. If this is by any chance human meat or something, then it's gonna obviously. Play your camera, play back, please! I definitely don't see a body where it happened. I think it is very safe to say this is not deer meat. Ten bucks? Ten bucks. And if you don't pay me, you hold my nuts. Alright, alright. Oh. Wait, cut that, cut that! One more. Let's go! Let's go! We're waiting for Polly right now. We're literally in Polly's living room. And we're just waiting for him. I, I, what are you doing, Paul? <laughs> Boys, I was up all flipping night. All night, so late to work. Wired right now, son! You're wired? Why? That's good. So, camera's on, by the way. La camera's on? Let me know before you say something stupid. So, that property that we've been on, that, that property we were on last night, Dude, are you on crack cocaine? Yeah. I, can't, <laughs> I, can't, I don't remember time. I'm probably wrong. But, go, go, go. It's, it's not private property. What? Dude was lying. It's not private property. Dude. I, I, we don't know, I don't know what he was doing there. It's not private property at all. How do you know? I, I've been out here all night Googling shit up, looking up stuff. I, 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 I've, I've, uh, um, I, I like looked around the area. I contact people. I, I've been talking to everybody, bro. So and I was just in that there. whole area. For not private Dude, I, I kind of thought that though too. Cause they, just said, they just said safety stuff's been going on in those houses. Dude, it's hundreds of miles of just straight up woods, bro. So why would some random person just live in an abandoned that, house in the woods? That dude's... So it's not I in don't his know property. what he's doing. It's not in his property. No, it's not in his property. I f dude, that, that guy's weird as hell. You should be crying. You didn't commit a crime, man. What do you mean? It's not on his property. So if it, you're, you're not gonna you're not gonna be in trouble anymore. I mean, I know. Oh yeah, dude, you're not gonna be in trouble. He attacked you first. Your ugly ass boots on the table right now. To prove it. Get your shit off my table, bitch. Yo, so that's actually really good news. Yeah. Are you 100 percent sure, bro? Yeah. If it's not private property, no. I'm saying, are you? I know that. Are you sure it's not private property? I'm 100 percent sure. Damn. So I'm literally scot free. That guy's just a. He's just a crazy. Okay, person. that's a good thing on my end. But at the same time, that just means that Calvin's. Messed up in the head. I don't know what he's doing out in those woods. Ugh. Oh! Come on, you turned the camera too slow. It literally just ticked on there. Yeah, we're just waiting till our appointment to go meet up with this guy from Craigslist. We're gonna uh, test the meat. Now that we just got more information from Crackhead over there, uh, that's not private property. So it only just draws up more of like, yo, what is this guy doing in the woods? Kind of weird stuff. So now I'm even more curious. I'm scot free. Like the the weight of the world was lifted off of my chest, so I'm really happy about that. But at the same time, now I'm really curious about what the hell Calvin, if that's even his name, is doing in the woods. Who knows? Let's go, baby. That's three. That's three, baby. Let's go. One more. One more before we hit the road. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Wait. So does anybody know who owns the property then? Nah. No. Yeah, they just said. There's no private property signs around or anything. My thing is... No, there is a private property sign, though. Well, they said it's not updated. Like, there's no, like, there's no recent history of it being, like, I guess no one owns it. I guess those are signs from beforehand when it was owned, like, 50 years ago when no one changed it. Because... Dude, that says, makes sense, though. It's so overgrown and abandoned. Like, no one's going to live there. Like, you have to think about it, bro. There's, there's houses there. And those houses are destroyed, so someone must have owned it. It was probably the houses back from, like, 50 years ago. And the private, the property is probably open to the public. And it's not private, it's probably not owned Dude, by Dude, that is some news and I am so excited. That is, one more for the road before we go meet up with this guy. I'm legendary. I'm legendary.
legendary. Good luck. It's good luck. <laughs> <laughs> this is Sparta. Trash. So what are you thinking about it? You're opening it? This is going to be a little foul. You guys might not want to smell this so much. Oh my god, did you open it? Mm-hmm. Are you opening it? You got balls of steel, man. Does it smell at all? Oh yeah. I can't. I'm holding my nose. I can't smell anything. Yeah, that's horrible. What are you thinking? Thinking some sort of animal meat or way beyond that? I gotta look under the microscope. Let's see. Oh my god. Oh my god, it stinks, man. You know what? Hold on. Let me get a slide. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna throw up. <clears throat> oh my god, you gotta throw up the bathrooms over there. Where? Oh my god. Do not fucking throw up in here. Bro. <laughs> Oh my god, that That does smell really bad. Yo, stop! I just looked under the slide. Oh, it's... oh my god. I, I'm just gonna try to show you through here. Alright. Oh, you have it up on there? Yeah, because the you're not gonna see it under the microscope. So if you look at the way that the lines run in some of these spots here... First of all, this is human. No, no, no. Yes. Oh my god. The second part is that there's these little spots here. This is probably like an infant. It's not the way that the structure is. It's not like as you grow up as you know and become an adult and stuff. You uh, you know through injuries and stuff like your your tissues break apart and rebuild. This is all like fresh tissue. Like it's it's definitely a child. Uh, I would say probably a child. Did you know that just from the you just <gasps> used blood under it. Adrenochrome is like a, uh, it's like something your body releases, it's like an adrenaline type of thing, but I heard something where people like to ingest it, it was like a high for them, and I've never seen anything like this, I, I didn't even know it was real, but it's like at a point where, I mean, I'm, I'm seeing it and I, I can't believe it, so at this point, like, you know, you're welcome to do whatever you gotta do and look at it, I, I don't want anything with this, because this is, this is like out of my pay grade. The type of heat that I could get for this, uh, I'm honestly concerned for my own safety. So you do what you gotta do, I'm out of here, and you, you do what you gotta do. Okay. Well, thank you very much. We all heard of Jeffrey Epstein's conspiracy theory of human trafficking going on, ran by the top companies and CEOs in the entire world. Wayfair was caught selling children online and they were hiding in plain sight. $10,000 for a baby book? More like $10,000 for a baby. Only the elites and top celebrities in the world could afford such a thing. But why? Why would celebrities want to buy a baby off the internet? Why is human trafficking such a huge business today? I will keep names out of this to save my ass. Last time someone spoke of this out loud, 58 of their friends committed suicide. The blood in babies act as a currency around Hollywood. Money means nothing to the top 1%, but baby blood means everything. The drug that blood produces under fear is called adrenochrome, and having a sip of that adrenochrome is considered to be the craziest feeling in the world. Worth over $10,000, and some say it connects the user to the devil. In other words, sell their soul. Will Smith, Barack Obama, Ellen DeGeneres, Hillary Clinton, and countless other celebrities hiding in plain sight about selling their soul to the devil and using adrenochrome as the link. As celebrities continue to sell their soul and become hooked on the communication key to the devil, adrenochrome becomes more expensive. CEOs took advantage of this and started to sell babies for the use of their fearful blood. And things get even worse. The younger the child, the more desirable they are. Jeffrey Epstein was murdered due to the fact that his pedophile island was being exposed and A-list celebrities knew if the truth was released to the open, a war would break out between the devil and God. Hollywood is run by a pedophile ring, human trafficking for the use of baby blood, for selfish greed and fame given to them by the devil himself. The devil is here and he is slowly entering the souls of the most influential people in the world. 
the biggest names loved by millions, using them as pawns to corrupt the young minds of this world. It all starts back with adrenochrome, the drug produced in baby blood when a baby is inflicted by sexual assault and fear to eventually death. The devil is here and there is going to be a war, not world war, not a civil war, not war between countries, but a war between good and evil. God is forming his army now. What will I choose? Be a pawn to the media and feed into the devilish ways of the elites or stand on my own two feet with the power of God watching over me and die fighting and enduring the pain of my friends around me. If I am murdered on this journey of stopping this cycle of evil, just know I died for a purpose and I hope that my supporters will take stance behind me and push through. The devil is here. Babies are being sacrificed day by day, hundreds at a time. And I'm not the type of person to sit around and listen to the lies the media tells me. The bigger picture is that adrenochrome is the devil. You are being lied to. Let's stop this monster together. and intense scrutiny on the activities of satanic cults. Stories of devil worship and satanic cults corrupting young minds. Unbelievable crime at the hands of satanic cults. The hard evidence is difficult to find because if a child is sacrificed, that child's body isn't going to be left. If it's an orthodox satanic cult, they're going to burn the body and they're going to, to eat it during ceremony, so they'll leave no evidence around. Michelle remembers it was also one of the first books to suggest that underground satanic networks were not only real, but were infiltrating communities in an organized effort. We have a much bigger problem at our hands. We have our hands on living proof that that whole conspiracy is true. You know how many people are going to be hunting us down? trying to kill us? Is it even worth having that in our hands? Honestly, you're better off just fucking. You just, you're better off. It's like you're better off having that, that thought like, bro, I just killed a man on private property than what we just figured out. Like Dude, what, what? We literally have baby flesh in a jar. My question is, why the fuck does he have that? That's my question. What the fuck does he plan on doing with it? Dude, that's, it goes back to that whole, that whole conspiracy. We have living proof that that stuff actually happens, human trafficking and, and baby sacrifices for the devil. Did you see anything, like any satanic signs in the, in the, no. in the building? I don't think so. I mean, we didn't look that in depth, but I mean, we, ha we have baby meat in a jar. What more do we need? We can't get caught with that thing. If we, get, if we go to the cops with that, instantly all jail time. They probably think we're trying to Other do. people that figure out that we have this, that are part of this whole human trafficking organization, are going to be hunting us down, trying to either kill us or whatever they do. Uh, we have a much bigger problem than our hands. All right, bro. I'll, I'll you see later. you later. Tommies. See you later, bro. Doogies. Dab me up. Jesus. Stay safe. We, got, we don't know what to expect nowadays, so just stay safe. Get home safe. All right. Peace out. Later. What's gonna happen is we're gonna show the cops that we just nearly killed somebody and they're gonna arrest us. That's what I'm saying, bro. There's every, we're framed almost as a bad guy no matter what direction we take on this. We have, we have human baby meat. What is that? Give me the phone call. It's Marina. Yeah. Yo, bro, 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 listen up, listen up. There's cops outside your house asking us if we know who you were. We were like, no, we were just here to see his fucking brother and shit. They're outside now? They're outside now? There's, there's like four cops. Yes, four cops now. Go, 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 go.